Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to show you that e square minus p square c square is invariant under Lorentz transformation. Okay, so before we start, please do subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up button, also share with your friends, inspire me to create new contents for you, and help me to grow my channel. And if you want to follow me on Insta, this is my Insta ID, Oza Oza H A, like it L A K H Y A J I T one twenty three. This is my Insta ID. You can follow me on Insta. So now let's start. Now first let us consider two frame of references. This is suppose frame S and this is S this suppose. This is frame S, this is S this and this S this is moving towards uh, uh, moving along x axis moving along x axis with uh, velocity V with respect to S right. So then uh, here you see uh, you see let e so let me write here e that means energy suppose e and uh, p are relative energy and momentum relative energy and momentum in S frame and uh, here you see E this and P this are the corresponding quantities that means uh, energy and momentum corresponding quantities quantities in S this frame which is which is moving with velocity which is moving with velocity with velocity V with velocity v along x axis along x axis relative to relative to sorry frame s relative to s frame right so let me consider that then transformation the transformation of energy and momentum from S to S this frame as this frame I e x this gamma. So if we take the x component, right? E by c square. So this is along now you see this frame is moving along x axis, right? So y component and z component of momentum will remain same. Okay, so P Y is gonna be P Y and P Z P Z this remains P Z right and the energy transformation is given by and energy transformation E this will be given by gamma into E minus V into P X right so now you see here in this case this gamma gamma is nothing but 1 by root over 1 minus v square by c square and where c is the velocity of light right in air so hope you know these things now we are to show that we are to show 
that uh, this quantity that e dash square minus p dash square c square is equal to e square minus p square c square so this relation under Lorentz transformation is invariant that we need to prove and both gonna be equal to m naught to the power 2 c to the power 4 okay because we know that uh, e square minus p square c square is equal to m naught square c to the power 4 we know this relation between the you know relation between momentum and uh, energy right let me consider this one as equation number one right so this thing is known to us right so this is what energy and momentum relation this is energy and momentum relation okay so now let me go to the next piece so first let us take this one left hand side okay so let me copy the you know uh, transformation equations that we're going to use okay just give me a second okay so these are the transformation equations that i have written in the previous page you don't need to repeat this just as uh, you know i have to use this one so that's why i have noted here okay so now you see just wait okay now let me rearrange these things just give me a second okay now you see as uh, we need to show that e dash is uh, minus sorry e dash minus e dash square minus p dash square c square is equal to e square minus p square c square we need to show this so first uh, okay let, let me take this one and let us use the you know transformation equations and uh, now you see this px py this pz uh, you here you see this p it has three components px py and pz right so that's why if these are the three components then this p dash square this p dash square can be written as px dash plus uh, px dash square plus py dash square plus p z dash square right uh, hope you have understood this so we can write we can write just with uh, let me mention here we can write that p dash square that's going to be equal to p x dash square plus p y dash square plus p z dash square right now you see that uh, if we use the transformation equations uh, then what we can do this e dash can be replaced by this result that is gamma e minus v into px then minus p dash can be replaced by these transformation equations okay so as we can consider p dash x is uh, p dash square is this so if we replace this one px dash square by uh, gamma px minus b into e by c square then uh, here we have to put a square and here also a square then plus p y square and p z square because p y dash square remains p y square right so hope you have understood this because these two are again p y and p z so we can write this equation this way p x dash square plus p y plus p y square plus p z square because you know p y dash and p y are equal right similarly p z and p z dash also equal into then we have c square here so here we have to write c square okay so uh, i forgot to put the square here so now if we square all these things 
and uh, gamma square e square minus 2 gamma square sorry no okay 2 gamma square e uh, v px plus v square px square then within bracket then gamma square then px square minus 2 gamma square e sorry uh, px v e by c square then plus uh, one more gamma should be here also gamma square okay plus gamma square then uh, v square e square by c to the power 4 on squaring c square that's going to be c to the power 4 i have applied here a minus the whole square formula right so then we're gonna have uh, py square plus pz square that's it right so into c square so let me shift this one towards this okay here we're gonna have c square okay now let's open the brackets then what we're gonna have if we open the brackets just wait okay gamma square e square minus 2 gamma square e into b px plus gamma square b square px square minus on opening the bracket gamma square px square this minus will be plus because there is minus so plus 2 gamma square px ve by c square then this minus plus minus again minus gamma square v square e square by c to the power 4 then uh, here we're gonna have minus py square then minus uh, pz square minus p z square then one more thing you have to multiply this c square as well so that's why what happens here we're gonna put here c square then this c square cancels right this c square cancels and uh, here you see this c to the power 4 becomes c square on multiplication uh, or when it is multiplied by c square right so c c to the power 4 will be cancelled and we're gonna have c square here so hope you have understood c square c square now you observe if you observe carefully here then what you're gonna get this term and this term are same but opposite in sign so we can cancel these two right so now let's see what we can do here uh, let me write this e dash square minus p dash square c square and let me copy this last step and let me go to the next slide okay uh, let me take a new slide so here is a new slide now let me paste that one here so what we can take commons let me check that first now from these two terms let me take uh, minus minus c square gamma square common okay minus c square gamma square common and uh, px square also taking common so here when you take minus common this positive sign will be minus and this negative sign will be plus right and then uh, here gamma is taken out c is also taken out px is also taken out so here we're gonna get plus one so that's why here within bracket let me write the positive term first one then as this sign become negative so let's put negative here you see we have gamma square v square px square also so as there was no c square so that's why v uh, square is not taken common so here gamma square and c square and px square is taken common so we're gonna have v square by c square because you see if you multiply this c square uh, if you multiply these three terms with this one and this one again you're gonna get this two again you're gonna get these two terms right so hope you have understood this so now just wait so here you see next what we need to do we have to take common from this term and this term what we can take common from these two terms so we can take common plus gamma square e square right if we do so then here we're gonna get one here e square gamma square will be taken common then minus 
uh, e sorry not e minus b square by c square is left out so we're gonna get here 1 minus b square by c square and the remaining terms are minus p y square c square then minus p z square c square that's what we're gonna have so now you see this this gamma square is nothing but uh, you know gamma is 1 by uh, root over 1 minus b square by c square and if you square it uh, that's gonna be you know that then this square uh, this root will be removed then what we can write here we can write minus c square p x square divided by 1 minus b square by c square that's what we can write then 1 minus b square by c square okay so here also we can replace this gamma square by you know e square divided by 1 minus b square by c square into 1 minus b square by c square then minus p y square c square then minus p z square c square okay so now you see uh, this one and this one cancels similarly this two are also cancelled okay so now let me take this uh, last step and uh, let me go to a new slide okay so here is the last step we have got so e does square minus p does square by c square now from these three terms this one this one and this one we can take c square common right and uh, not only c square we can take minus also common then within bracket we're gonna get p square plus py square plus pz square px square plus py square plus pz square into c square and minus is also taken common that kind of negative and here we're gonna have e square this e square is written here right so now you see this is nothing but uh, this is nothing but your p square right this is nothing but p square e square minus p square c square since here p square is equal to px square plus p y square plus p z square right so now here you see it is invariant it is observed that uh, these two are equal we have got these two are equal in both the frame so this is invariant and uh, from this relation number one equation number one from this equation number one we can write that uh, uh, e this square let me put the implies here e this square minus p square p, p this square sorry not p square c square is equal to e square e is equal to e square minus p square c square both equal to m not to the power 2 and c to the power 4 right from 1 hence it is proved that hence it is proved that under Lorentz transformation this e square minus p square c square is invariant is invariant under Lorentz transformation right so hope you have understood this thank you for watching see you in the next video